The following portion of the Arizona Daily Mix is sponsored on behalf of Eglin's Best by KEF Media. Many cultures observe Easter as a time to come together with friends and family, welcome spring, celebrate new beginnings, and appreciate diverse traditions. Last week, I talked with Patty Heinich about best-selling cookbook author and host of TV's Patty's Mexican Table about some tasty and colorful dishes to help celebrate the holiday with a Mexican twist. Good morning, Patty. Thank you so much for being here today. Good morning. Thank you for having me on. So every family has those special family dishes that they like to bring out for holidays and things like that. What about your family? What are some of the traditions you guys have? We have so many traditions at home, but I think most of my favorite have to do with food. And during springtime and now that we're getting close to Easter, I think that I think about sweets the most. Um, I would say tres leches cakes, but mostly a chocolate marble pound cake that my mom used to make for me, that her mom used to make for her, and that now I make for my boys. So I love passing down that chocolatey tradition. Oh, <laughs> Patty, you're making, you're making my mouth water a little bit. That sounds so delicious. But you are a chef, and so I want to know, as someone who's maybe not quite the same level of chef that you are, what are the staples you have in your kitchen? That's a great question. You know, my pantry is really like my treasure trove. There are some ingredients I just can't do without. And starting from the most important essential things, oils, vinegars, rice, beans, a few kind of items like pickled jalapenos or uh, chipotle sin adobo sauce that we use in so many ways here at home. Uh, at the top of my list, I have Eggland's Best Eggs. They are so versatile and they have so many more nutrients than ordinary eggs. And they just make everything that I use them for better. If it's a frittata, makes it fluffier. If it's a cake, makes it richer. If it's meatballs or albondigas, makes them more pillowy. Alongside my Eggland's Best Eggs, I have fresh tomatoes always, ripe avocados, absolutely, fresh and dried chiles, and spices like cumin and oregano. Oh, yeah. A lot of oregano. That's such a great point to have those spices there, things like the oils, the vinegars. But yes, eggs are one of the staples you kind of always have to have because anytime you're making a recipe, you'll come across something that's like, oh my goodness, I don't have eggs. So keeping those in your fridge, keeping them fresh is super, super important. But what I want to know are what the dishes you have, what are those dishes that you have out there? Tell me some of those recipes. Of course, I have a Mexican frittata that has fire roasted poblanos, potatoes, and salty queso fresco. And this is a great recipe to make for friends when you're hosting because you cook it and serve it in the same pan. So it's very low maintenance. You can serve it hot or lukewarm with a side salad, some crusty bread, you're set. And then here for sweets, I have an almond tres leches cake, which is rich, it's nutty, it has a tangy layer of apricot jam right in the middle with some crunchy almonds too. And these two recipes that speak to my Mexican heritage, the Latin culture that I love so much, contain Eggland's Best Eggs, which have six times more vitamin D, 10 times more vitamin E, and 25% less saturated fat than ordinary eggs. So you're making food that's super delicious, but you also know that's really nutritious. So it's a win-win. It definitely is. Well, Patty, we have Easter coming up here. So I wanna know how you and your family are gonna celebrate. We celebrate by eating and cooking a lot. <laughs> like we really, we just center around food. And I love doing two things at the same time. Passing down recipes that have been passed down to me and helping my boys get rooted in those flavors, but also opening up the space for trying new things and having the ingredients that we love and using them in different ways. So it's like preserving and innovating at the same time. Well, that's great, and I am Italian, so I understand that passing down family recipes is super, super important. So in terms of the recipes that you shared with us today, where can people go to find more information? They can go to egglandsbest.com. They'll find these recipes and many more. 
All right, Patty, well, this sounds great. That tres leches cake sounds perfect for Easter. I might have to go find that recipe myself, but thank you for being here today. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me. The preceding portion of the Arizona Daily Mix was sponsored on behalf of Eglin's Best by KEF Media.